The Economic Community of West African States is applying extreme pressure to embattle the incumbent Ivory Coast to President Laurent Bagbo to step down. Three leaders from ECOWAS plus an African envoy, uh, African Union envoy rather, are expected back in the country on Monday to demand that Mr. Bagbo relinquish power to UN recognized President Alassane Ouattara. Uh, the group say they will not negotiate with Mr. Bagbo, but Bagbo remains strong in his conviction to stay in office and has, the, has these words for the international community. Let's not kid ourselves. Let's not let ourselves be abused by words. It's about an attempted coup d'etat brought in under the banner of international community. This action is destined to bring in, by force if they need to, as the leader of this country, a man who Ivorians didn't choose by their votes, as my rival has lost in the presidential elections from November 28, 2010. Uh, Sierra Leone Information Minister Ibrahim Ben Kakbo reiterates that the international community holds the view that Ouattara is the legitimate president of Ivory Coast. He also says that he would not rule out uh, that ECOWAS might use force should Bagbo refuse to leave. Well, now joining us on the phone from Abidjan for further discussion on the tense situation in Ivory Coast is a spokesman for Alassane Ouattara, Patrick Achi. Mr. Achi, welcome to In Focus. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, uh, first, if you may, please, can you update us on any developments in the discussions that have gone on today, uh, whether there has been any communication so far that will make a, a kind of change the tone of things in Ivory Coast? Not really a lot of things so far. The key leaders of West Africa are right now in uh, Abidjan, as well as the uh, Prime Minister of Kenya, Mr. Odimba, sent by the African Union. And they're about meeting the president, former president uh, Babo, uh, to resume talks on uh, how and on which conditions he would be ready to peacefully step down, as you just mentioned. Uh, the, what we've seen is that since the last mission came last time, for the same reasons, uh, he hasn't moved further anywhere. We were expecting that he wouldn't do the address to the nation on the 31st of December, which he did, and I think that he kept himself as well as his spokesperson saying that uh, he wouldn't step down. No. And I guess that uh, we, we're slowly moving forward the issue that no one really wanted uh, until now, which is really forcing now, President, uh, Prime Minister uh, 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 of the, the Prime Minister Soro from what I just said about a couple of hours ago, that uh, in fact there is no other means to remove a detector that by force, unfortunately, he might be right. Now, you know, Mr. Bagbo says you guys are trying to stage a coup, and he doesn't seem to be willing to move an inch, as you, as you have mentioned. Uh, are you willing and ready uh, to take uh, leadership under those circumstances where Mr. Watara might be seen by half of the Ivory Coast uh, population as having been imposed by the international community on the people of Ivory no. Coast? Now, first of all, I think that, uh, uh, as you could see, uh, the, this former president is definitely a liar. Everybody knows so. But uh, it's not half of the population. First of all, the Cote d'Ivoire is 20 million of people. There were just about 5 million of voters. So it's 25% of the population that went to vote. And uh, Alassane, President Alassane won with 10 points difference, knowing that uh, the president, uh, uh, Babo, has all the, 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 the money, uh, uh, sitting on all the money of the state. He has all the army, the forces. You yourself, you know that in Africa and most of the developing world, when a standing head of state goes to election, he rarely loses election. So with, if you see 10 points difference, mean it was really a true, yeah. fair election. He will have lost with more than 20% of difference. So he doesn't have half the population uh, of him. In yeah. the army, 60% people in the army voted for Alassane Ouattara. Let's say and this. so I don't think this is true. Yeah, in just one word, and we're going, do you fear there might be a civil war in that country? I don't fear that there will be no civil war 
if he is removed quickly. What we're afraid of is that if this situation uh, 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 stays like that too long, then he might just give arms to militia, to mercenaries, to do any killing that he has started about a couple of weeks ago. That's what we're fearing. Okay. Do something to remove him, but please do it quick. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our, You're welcome. Yes, our thanks to Mr. Patrick Ashi, spokesman for the UN-recognized uh, Ivory Coast uh, President, Ala Sana Watera.